I know there's lots of options out there for calculators online. I just want to show you another one. This is the TI-84 Plus that you'll be using a lot in the high school. It's also the one that you'll use on the MCA test. Uh, so I've, I have a link on the, in my Google Classroom for this. You can go there. It's going to come to this page. Uh, it's kind of tedious to, to get to the calculator, but here's what you need to do. Just click the Start button here, and then you got to click the Start button here. It's going to load this. Now, up here at the top, there's going to be a little calculator button. Once you click on that, then the calculator actually shows up. Then it's pretty much like any other calculator. You want to add 2 plus 3 and push Enter. You have it right there. All the other things, kind of self-explanatory, just be a matter of, of playing with it and getting familiar with it. The other thing I wanted to point out, you can uh, graph functions. Uh, that's this, this Y equals button up in the top left corner. If I click on that, you'll notice... I have, I can graph up to, I believe it's 10. There's one more after this. Uh, but what you need to do then, for us, most of the things that we graphed were lines. Um, I'm going to put it in slope intercept form. So if I wanted to graph the line, y equals 2x plus 3, I'll just do 2. Now the x button is to the right of that green alpha one right here. So 2x plus 3. And then if you push the graph button, which is in the top right corner, it's going to graph your line on there. Sometimes you may need to choose, uh, change the window to make it bigger or smaller. I'll let you play with those kind of things. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to point out um, would be when we get into trigonometry using sine, cosine, and tangent, you need to do you need to change something, one of the settings in this calculator. So I'm going to get you out of the the graphing line part. So if we just push second and then the mode, that's the quit, brings you back to the home screen. Now to change the change this calculator so it'll work with what we'll how we'll use trigonometry, you're going to need to go into uh, the math. No, take that back. Sorry about that. Wrong spot. So we have to go into mode. So push the mode button, which is right here. Now in here, you'll notice when you get down to it. There's this line here that's radian and degree. If we're going to use sine, cosine, and tangent the way we're going to, uh, we're going to want that on degree. So click the arrows until you're on top of it. Once you're on top of it, it's flashing. Push enter. Now you notice it's highlighted. And then when we go back to the home screen, sine, cosine, and tangent are going to work the way that we need them. So if I take the sine of 30, it should come out to be 0.5, which it does. So just another option for a calculator. If you feel the need for using this one, by all means, go ahead and use it.